Hey guys, happy new year and welcome back. We're in cycle three. This is week 13. The next six weeks we'll be doing chemistry science experiments. Um, these are fun because they're like a little magic experiment. Um, most of the weeks are tutor demonstrations with kids being able to replicate afterwards or a little hands-on thing for them to participate in like we'll do this week. Each week, we'll also will have a word of the week. It just kind of worked out well that way. This week, in week 13, our word of the week is molecule, which we'll talk about in just a second. Because these weeks are tutor demonstrations for the most part, you will have time to go over the scientific method. So take the first five minutes of class at least and go over the scientific method. Again, we have six parts to that. We've got our purpose, which is our question. We have background research. Then you make a hypothesis. Then you do the experiment. So you have your procedure, which includes your experiment, uh, materials, and then you analyze analysis, your results, and then you make a conclusion. So go over those six parts, teach it to those who don't know it and review. Um, there's songs out there for it, there's games. So to really reinforce this time, is our scientific method because that will help them with all science experiments in the future. So again, week 13, word of the week, molecule. What is a molecule? Well, molecules are made up of atoms. Atoms are the basic, smallest unit of building block, smallest little building block of all matter. What is matter? What are the states of matter? Um, some states of matter are Solid, liquid, gas, plasma. These are the states of matter. And so um, pretty much anything that we can experience, see, feel is a type of matter. We are a type of matter. We're made up of solids and liquids um, and gases. And so, um, so everything is matter. And everything is made up, all that matter is made up of types of atoms or also known as elements. Atoms then bond together to form molecules. And so molecules then form together to form types of matter. So all matter is made up of molecules, which are bonds of atoms. And so to demonstrate that, each of my tutors, you'll have a little strip of clay and some toothpicks. And so as you're talking, you can be building your own little molecule. The little clay represents atoms. They make bonds and form bonds with other atoms to form a molecule. And so molecules can be made up of the same types of atoms, like two oxygen atoms form together to form oxygen. What we breathe, two O2. Um, or water molecules have three little molecules in them or atoms, excuse me, three atoms in them, H2O. So two hydrogen, one oxygen equals a water molecule. So as you look at these little molecules and demonstrate and teach the kids again, these are atoms, they form together, they bond to make molecules. Um, so a water molecule, for example, have these little atoms, they have these bonds, but you'll see what is between the atoms, there's bonds, but in that there's space. They're not squished on top of each other together, these little atoms. There's actually a little space, uh, microscopic space, in between all of these atoms. And so that will be important to remember in today's experiment. And so again, today our word of the week is molecule, molecule are made up of atoms, which are the basic building blocks of all things, of all matter. Um, okay, so today's experiment, our question uh, would be, you know, what, hap what do you think will happen when we put one cup of water with one cup of rubbing alcohol? Well, you would think one cup plus one cup equals two cups, right? So you gave them some background research or information on molecules, atoms, and also the fact that there are space in between atoms when they form a molecule. 
okay, then you have a make a hypothesis or you can start your experiment and then have them make a hypothesis. So in our experiment, the way we're gonna do it is um, everybody will have a measuring cup. I thought it just helps be easier to have exact measurement there. You will have a clear cup that's already measured with a line of one cup. These are nine fluid ounce cups and it's filled up eight fluid ounces, which equals one cup. So I've already measured it here. Um, so we have one cup. You're gonna fill that with water. You're then just for effect, gonna add some five drops, two, three, four, five, four or five drops. This is pretty bright stuff. Just this cool colored water. So we have one cup of water. We're gonna add to our thing. Now I would probably have some paper towels under your measuring cup um, or newspapers, paper, whatever, if you have it on the table. Um, and then because this is food dye and will dye your surfaces if we don't soak it up really fast. So we have our measuring cup, have your students be all around you spaced out a little bit. And you're gonna do your one cup of water. Okay, you can clarify with me that that is one cup. Have everybody say, is that one cup of water? Everybody look real close, make sure that's one cup. Um, and so you should see that's one cup of water. We're then going to add one cup of rubbing alcohol. So again, I'm gonna fill it up to my line. Do, do, do. So what does everyone think is gonna happen? when I add my one cup of rubbing alcohol to the one cup of water. So raise your hand. Do you think it's gonna be two cups, less than, more than? What do you think is gonna happen here? And then you very gently add in your cup of rubbing alcohol. And lo and behold, ta-da! It is, if you can see, it's kind of, maybe I'll lift the cup up to you. It is not two cups. You can see there's a gap there. It's actually about one and three fourths. So it definitely fills up, but it does not go to the two cup line. And everybody was my witness. I was very close with my one cup of water and one cup of rubbing alcohol. So what happened here? Why is it not two cups? Um, well, let's think back. What do we say about our little water molecule? We've got these atoms and there's space in between. Well, the rubbing alcohol comes and it fills in those spaces. And so they kind of squish together, sorry here, they kind of squish together all on top of each other. And when they do that, then that takes up less space than if they just were on top of one another like this. So the fact that there's space in between the atoms allows for other molecules to come in and fill in the gaps. And when you do that, you take up less space. And so where a rubbing alcohol came in and it is made up, it's a compound um, substance made up of compound molecules. And so it has lots of little molecule atoms, atoms making our molecules, lots of parts in there. And they filled in the gaps and spaces between our water molecule, um, the atoms in that. And so that is why when you put them together, they are actually, ours turned out this time being about a quarter. Um, last time it, mine was a little higher, but about a quarter less than the full two cups. And that is why. So go over again. And then um, in our classes, just because I have a lot of clay, um, each student will get a strip of clay. You'll have toothpicks. Give each student four or five toothpicks and then they can create their own molecules and spend some time. So reinforce the idea, atoms make up molecules, atoms, and so see how many molecules they can create with their strip of clay, and um, then have fun. So word of the week, molecules. Welcome back.